don't worry about the next it's your boy Chris with an X all right so I want to talk about the whole Jesse Smollett situation all right now I've been gone for a minute now I'm back in the jump off all right so yeah I knew he was lying from the start the whole situation the whole story has too many holes in it and you know in LA you got a lot of fake people and a lot of people that like to lie for their own benefit and, and it backfired on him and I'm glad 2009 should be the year of people who lie should be prosecuted just like the Jasmine Elias situation where she went to the club talking about she got raped and she was taking drinks from anybody and shaking her ass with no panties on not saying that people deserve to get raped or anything but she caused it on herself and she wasn't even being raped her husband put out a, a mixtape and he told her to go to the club so she can get some so he can get some clout and so um, it's the same thing with jesse trying to get some clout trying to um act like you're a victim first of all how you don't know that bleach what bleach smell like how you can you not remember what bleach smell like when you open bleach that shit is loud as hell but he said he remembered it's some sticky white uh, creamy stuff on him no you got nutted on you looking for some street meat at 2 a.m because subway has a time where they open they ain't open 24 hours and so you got caught lying and you know terrence howard is trying to you know make do but um he threw him in a trash can when he was little on empire so he got to do that out of character but um yeah i knew he was lying the situation the story had too many holes in it you know they went from being white men to to nigerian men somebody said they must have been ashy as fuck that day because <laughs> But you do not remember that they was white. Come on now. And then too, in Chicago was one of the blackest cities. Saying you don't remember what they look like. And they have mega hats and a noose around your neck. That's just like two niggas going to Beverly Hills wearing NWA t-shirts, baggy pants. And you know, having a cup of bleach. And I don't know, a cup of Starbucks. Like you gonna remember, like they stick out it like a sore thumb, especially in front of the white people. It's not happening. It's not happening. You know, the story has so many holes, more holes than Swiss cheese. So I don't feel bad. He lied. He needs to get prosecuted. And Jasmine Elias, she needs to um, be prosecuted as well because we saw the videos. Not just the so-called rape video, but the other videos where she was taking drinks from anybody. She went to the club by herself. And then she was touching her tongue, acting like, you know, she was um, roofied. Then she entered a twerk contest. Then announced that she had had no panties on in front of the 200, over 200 people. And there's alcohol and there's dudes there. Then the dude was kissing all on your neck and you still didn't do nothing. And you was, you know, bagging that thing up on him with no panties on and a short dress. You know, it's too many red flags. And then after the so-called rape, you went back into the club and was like, hey, hey. Yeah, that didn't sound like no rape to me. You know, it just sounded like a happy hooker having a good time. And now she's trying to sue the club. I hope the club don't give her a dime. They need to look at the other videos. They need to stop just taking up her because she's just a woman. That don't make no sense. And um, yeah, for Jesse, he should get his career is gonna be um, delayed for a while. I don't know about over, but I definitely know you know delayed because that was just senseless. Anyways, comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. Until then, this is me, your boy Chris with the next on some real ish. All right, peace.